definitely their form team and in comparison Anna Paula and Layla they missed out on the country quota they didn't qualify ninth third third so they've sort of stepped up the last two weeks there consistency and that's a fantastic set from Anna Paula kind of, sort of falling backwards you sort of were nervous that she might double that ball but perfect out of her hands right in the right spot and Layla unloading Larissa too much heat for Larissa this yeah, that's a difference this team this new relatively new Brazilian combination oh, oh. No argument from Larissa. She turned it back. She used that one. And that all created from a hard jump serve, creating a really spinny pass. Another point on the board. What we talked about is they go to the good side. We knew Anna Paula was going to bring her heat. She did. Another point on the board for Anna Paula and Layla. 14-9. Now the second ref saying the service order is wrong. But this team of Layla and Anna Paula. Anna Paula has always been given. And Apollo has always been. Now they took the point off the board. No, they can't do that. I think they did. Didn't they? No, they didn't. 12 9 switch. They got a side out. 14. Yeah. It's 14. And Apollo is right. Carl, you're right. It should be 14 9. You're correct. You're correct. Okay. Paddy Salvatore from the US, the second referee, okay. saying yes. There you go. 14 on the board. For this team, it was really a matter of when and how Layla was going to get her game together. Anna Paula's, as you know. When and Sandra if. Perez. Yeah. Olympian on the beach. Another great bump. Oh. Huge block from Anna Paula. They all started with a great jump serve. So both these players bringing great jump serves. Layla with a jump floaty, but getting Juliana in all sorts of trouble. Larissa can't go over the giant block of Anna Paula. Stuffed down 15-9 now. Another tough serve, handled fairly well. Finally, over the, the top, it. over the top of the block, but 15-10. That's a really giant lead at the late stage of the game. You have five real points. So really all Anna Paula and Layla have to do is be steady, side out, and they're going to win this game. Right back on Layla, not a great pass. She gets a good set. Fight, fight, fight! Set. Layla making a bad hit down the line. Juliana getting it up. Really a great set from Larissa from well off the net to get her partner close where she could hit the ball. Anna Paula made a great dig. Layla just missed the set. And you start to worry, like, okay, that's one point. Stop it right here. You, you don't want to give up two in a row. Just missing wide. Anna Paula goes with the left hand, but just misses wide. There she goes over on two. I wonder if she just, she wanted to hit that or didn't want to send it. I don't know which, but either way. But it's so consistent. And we're, so sitting up, we're sitting up here in the uh, commentary booth going, oh, how did she miss a fading out of court left hand slap? How right. come she didn't hit that on the line? Right. That's, that's how good a player this girl is. How far? 75 kilometers an hour. Oh my, Juliana. Wow, you, you don't see that in the women all that much. I think Anna Paula can do that. Maybe a few other players, but Juliana bringing the thunder cross court. Anna Paula just missing. What's it called again, Juliana? The facial what? Disgraceful. Just missing it. Goes off her cap. Almost an ace to the face. And then Larissa. Okay, so what we talked about on the last side switch, Anna Paula Layla going to the good side, getting a few quick points with a good serving. Now Larissa getting her jump serve going. Point number 13. So we got a much different ball game here than we had at 15-10. Huge side out, a very crucial side out. Crucial side out. Anna and Layla. Oh. There you see a bit of inexperience by Layla just charging in that ball and not stopping and getting down low at the net. Maybe she tripped over herself, but 
She really could have hurt somebody. Let's have a look at the replay. Yeah, not, not just, just poor judgment by her. She probably wasn't going to make the play anyway, but she could have stopped and popped and at least had a go. It was, sure, a, it was a tough ball again. Yeah. Well, certainly, certainly it was a tough ball again. It definitely has to stop her feet and try to get underneath that ball. Not going to do any good on the other side of the net. But again, started with good jump serving from Larissa. It's actually probably a good, a good thing in that situation. And Paula is thinking that Layla is going to get the serve. Get the serve. It's getting tight. They're going to go to to the well. They're going to go to Layla. They think they can get points off her. Beat one at Adapola. Tough serve. Maybe get a, um, a tough pass, a bad set. And there you go. There's a point. Adapola, I think, getting caught a little by surprise by that tough high serve and not able to control it. And a point. And they're back in action now. 14 to 16. Still, even though they've given up lots of points here in the last few, few plays. Anna Paula Lima still on top of this game, still in charge of this game. Just need to stop the bleeding right now. Side out, take it to 17 14. Maybe score a point of your own, get to 18, and then go back to the good side. You're going to be looking good. Still in a good place in this match. Larissa, as we talked about, sort of a non factor with her serve before. Now, two quick points. Smooth. There it is. Well, it's a good dig. It's a great set. Yeah. And then it's just a put away. As we were saying before, in the men and the women, the game starts with a great pass. So you give your partner a great pass. Everyone out here is great setters. When it's a good pass, you're going to get a great set. So you see here, Layla's going to jump serve and go to the net. 